In this video, we will create tenants, VRF, bridge domain, subnets within the bridge domain, filters, and contracts. And then finally, we will create the application profile with three EPGs, app, DB, and web. So let's get started and log on to the APEC. So this is a lab environment. There are other pods and other tenants configured already. We can ignore that. So I'll go ahead and create a new tenant called pod 16. Can leave everything else to default. Next, I will create, right click on the VRF, create VRF. I'll give VRF a name, pod 16 VRF. And I'll uncheck create a bridge domain because I will create the bridge domain next. Here okay, we can see our VRF is created. So next I'll right click on the bridge domain, create bridge domain. And give it a name pod 16 bridge domain. And then I'll associate it to the VRF, pod 16 VRF, which we created in the previous step. Everything else I can leave to default. So next we need to create subnets for our three EPGs in the bridge domain. I'll right click on the subnets and create subnet. Give it an IP of the gateway. So this will be the gateway for each EPG. It will be private to the other. And everything else looks fine. Submit. I need to create two more for DB and the web APG. Okay, now I'll log on to the APIC and see what configuration has been pushed from the GUI. So if I do show run, show run tenant pod 16, here we can see there is tenant created, there is a bridge domain, and the submits created by on the APIC. Okay, next I think next we need to create filters and contracts. So I'll go to contracts and then you can right click on the contracts and create filter where you can also right click on the filters create filter so i'll give it a name so this will be a permit any filter and give it a name part 16 filter any filter any in ACI, everything is blocked by default. 
So everything is denied by default as compared to the legacy uh, Cisco networks where everything is allowed and we have to use access lists to block it. In ACI, everything is blocked and we need to use filters and contracts to allow traffic. So I create, I need to create a couple of more filters just to show you how we create the filters. So I'll create another one for ICMP. So part 16 filter ICMP. Call it ICMP, ether type IP, IP protocol, ICMP, and anything else we leave as it is. And yeah, update and submit. I'll go ahead and create one more filter for HTTP traffic. Call it pod 16 filter port 80. I'll give it a name port 80. Ether type IP, IP protocol should be TCP. In state for we'll give it the port range for source and then I'll just give destination AT AT. Okay, now we need to create the contracts. I'll give it a name, port 16, contract any. And create a subject, and name it subject any. I'm gonna leave the Prime both directions and reverse filter quotes. Um, add a filter. We can see our port AT, ICMP, and filter any. I'll select filter any. Click on update. Okay. Everything else looks fine. I'll go ahead and create one more contract. So this will be our DB to ARP contract. Give it subject to any. And then I'll select filter any. I need to create one more contract for app and web. So call it pod 16 contract app. Web and I'll add a subject any and I need to add a filter to that subject. I'll just select filter any. OK. 
two. So now I have my three contracts. Contract in, contract app DB and app web. I've mistyped the name of the contract. I'll go ahead and delete it and create it again. Port 16 contract in. And then add a subject to the contract, subject in. And then we add filter to the subject. Okay. So now we have our three contracts. Let's go to the CLI. Okay, we can see that the, our contracts have been created. So we can see the filters and the contracts. But this is all the config pushed by the GUI. We could also configure all this on the CLI. So if I copy pasted it on the CLI, it will still work. And next we need to create APGs in our application profiles. So we'll create an application profile. I'll call it port 16 application profile. And then we'll create an APG. Port 16 DB APG. And I need to associate that to the bridge domain of port 16. So here I will add the provided contract for the DB app. I need to create another EPG and create pod 16 app EPG. We will select pod 16 bridge domain. Now the provided contract for app EPG will be app and DB will be the consumed contract. Next I will create the Web EPG, we'll call it Pod 16, Pod 16 Web EPG, Bridge Domain Pod 16, and this will only have consumed contract app pod. Update. So now if I go to the application profile and the topology, we can see the three EPGs and the two contracts we have used. The zoom feature, I'm not a big fan of. The topology looks awesome, but I'm not a big fan of the zoom. So here we can see the contracts, and then we can see the EPGs. So the arrow, the arrows from an EPG to a contract indicate provided contract, 
and the arrow from a contract to an EPG represent a consumed contract. We can look at the topology in the application profile or if you go to contracts topology, we can see the topology there as well. So it shows what EPGs um, are using the contracts. So who is the provider and the consumer. So if you click on the DB app EPG, we can see DB EPG is the provider for the contract and the web EPG is the consumer for that contract. So let's go to the CLI and see what other changes have been made. We can, we can do show run tenant part 16 application and that will show me the configuration for the application profile. So here we can see that the application profile and the contracts and the EPGs are created.